What's up everybody, it's Abby here, and I just wanted to check in. So you all may be wondering why I haven't made a video in a while. Well, one of the main reasons is because I wanted to make sure that I was representing my best self. The past five weeks haven't been the easiest, but they also haven't been the worst. Um, you know, I'm here in the UAE, Dubai specifically, and um, initially with all of this uh, coronavirus or COVID-19 um, situation pandemic, We've been out of school since March, something like that. It's been five weeks, literally. We um, initially had two weeks of a spring break where we had to, it was strongly advised to remain in country. Um, and now we are entering into our third week of online and distance learning, which is uh, also within, um, now we're going into, next week will be maybe our fourth week of quarantine slash lockdown. So it's been a, a interesting journey uh, to say the least over the past five weeks where um, I've been up and down to be, to be quite honest. I don't wanna call it stress, but other people might label it that. But um, it's been a lot. So I didn't wanna get on here and vent and misrepresent myself or my family. So I just wanted to make sure that I had a clear head uh, when I was ready to share whatever it is I felt like sharing. All right, so uh, one of the things that's been super interesting is you know I'm an educator, specifically a physical educator. So the transition from being in a gym in front of kids and you know demonstrating on hand and throwing things and running with children to having to now present online through a lens, through a camera, through my voice and not being able to demonstrate live has been a complete adjustment. Um, I'm sure for every teacher in general, but now like you specifically get people like, well, how y'all gonna do PE online and stuff like that. So um, it's been interesting, but I am enjoying the process now. I'll say that I'm um, being able to dissect different skills and present it in new ways that students can be able to, to achieve at home has been awesome. And I just want to make something clear that PE is not just jumping jacks and push up and circuit routines and things of that nature. That's not what I am personally about. It is about the educating the person about their, their physical well-being and their body, as well as acknowledging different social emotional aspects because if you think about it PE is where you learn how to be a decent human being like in the classroom I respect classroom teachers to the fullest do not get me wrong but it is in your interaction in those free times during recess during lunch during physical education when you're interacting with other people and you're failing and you're succeeding and you're learning how to congratulate people and you're learning how to, to help people process what they could uh, you know perceive as a failure and you're helping them you know you're realizing that it's not just about me it's not all about winning it's not all about my abilities and what i'm the best at but how can i make other people better so our content and our pedagogy is crucial at these times and i take it very seriously so y'all better do the same thing i just want to give big ups and props to my team we've been able to you know transition and just just flip a complete 180 and um, in a short in a short amount of time it's only been three weeks and we have made some strides and I'm really, really proud of them for So shout out to uh, the DAA elementary PE team. You all are doing a wonderful job and I just want to let you know that I appreciate you and all that you've done uh, to make our team um, work well and to present great quality content for our students to enjoy uh, with us and being present. So thank you once again. Y'all know I can't come on here without giving a couple tips. Um, so here they are for the parents first. Now, we you know, we love you parents and uh, you might think that teachers are laughing at y'all and ha ha ha. Now you have to deal with your own kids, but that's not necessarily the case. I miss my kids. I much rather them, you know, be with me. I don't, I don't wish that they have to stay home. That might not be everybody's story, but for any of my students that watch this, I miss y'all. I much rather be in the gym than having to communicate with you all over, you know, the interwebs. But anyway, parents. I'm just gonna ask you all just to be patient, just blanket patience. Be patient with your kids, be patient with your now students. We understand that you all are teaching now. You're doing more hands-on situations and you're uh, assisting the teachers when it comes to the content that has to be delivered through the internet mediums. Um, so yes, be patient with the babies, please. Be patient with them as students. Be patient with the teachers. We're trying our best. Teachers are literally up for countless hours. I don't have a work like day, like my schedule is all over the place. I work constantly. Like after I make this video, I'm probably still 
point to it. We're always doing something. I don't have a, a what, 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 I don't have a 7:15 to 3:30 anymore. I have an all day long. And if somebody messages me, WhatsApp me, I'm addressing it. So be patient with us as well. Second thing, observe your kids. You have this awesome opportunity to be with them for countless hours within a day, especially the places who are on lockdown or soon to be on lockdown. And we're not really sure how long we're gonna be in this, but this is a great opportunity for you just to observe your kids, observe them doing their schoolwork, observe them playing, just observe them in general. See what type of human being you are raising. You'll be interested to find out that a lot of characteristics, especially if your child is above the age of seven, are already fully developed. So like that person that you're interacting with, that student, that child, that's probably the adult that you're gonna interact with in, in, in time. So you, you have the opportunity to address certain things, to learn stuff about your child, treasure these moments. And look, it can also help you um, direct um, your decisions with them and help them to direct their decisions. Maybe your child is artistic and you're like, oh wow, like, you know, when all this is over, maybe I'll enroll you in some other art classes. Or maybe they just, you know, love to read or just whatever it is. There's a lot of small, minute things that when everything was go, 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 busy, 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 you might have had the opportunity to just look and see like, wow, I didn't realize that. My third thing is play with your kids. Let me say it again. Play with your kids. I don't care how old they are. Play with them. You all will make eternal bonds and create awesome memories together when you play. Play with each other. Please, to all of my students, students everywhere, even if I don't teach you, even if I taught you, anybody that has a teacher, students understand that the teachers, we love you and we miss you. It's actually really, really true. Even that really mean teacher that you may not like, they still miss you. It's the truth, accept it. Keep trying. This is new for all of us. I know that you all are getting things left and right, especially if you're taking multiple classes, if you're in high school, or even if you're in college, like things just keep piling up. Just keep trying. I'm sorry. It's new for all of us, and we're trying to find the right balance. Keep giving us feedback, but do not quit, please. This is a great time to journal and document this process. This is a historic time, not only within your life, but in world history. Make sure if you like to write that you're using the journal and you're writing those things down. And we have great mediums through social media and through like just vlogging and all that stuff for you to be able to document this journey. So you can visit it years from now and be able to recall how you were feeling, what you were doing, and how you made the best of this time. So I would definitely recommend that you just document this. Whether you write it down, take a video, take a picture, try to make sure that you remember. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, respect, respect yourselves, respect your elders, just respect everybody at this time. Don't go off the cuff, don't go ranting and raving, be mindful of everything that you're doing and respect everyone, especially your parents, okay? Find the time to lend a helping hand. This is a great time for you to do some extra work around the house or to clean that room that your mom has been asking you to clean for years. Help yourself, help other people. Um, it feels good. So if you don't know how that feels, maybe you're not helping enough. What can you do without being asked? And then you can find out how people feel about the help that you gave them. After the task is done, find one random thing that you can do to help a family member, to help a friend, Make sure you're self-quarantined, keeping your social distance, but help somebody and uh, see how it makes you feel. Teachers, what's up? I know y'all working hard out there, but something that I constantly have to remind myself is to take care of yourself. I need you all to eat. I need you all to sleep. I need you all to shower. I need you all to brush your teeth, all that stuff. Everything will get handled in due time. But if you're not here to help in this journey, it's not helping anybody at all. Please take care of yourself, me included. Please, 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 please take care of yourself. Set some realistic boundaries. Get done what absolutely needs to get done. And then please take care of yourself. I'm talking to myself because I know what I'm doing. That's not awesome. So I know y'all out there doing worse. So please, please folks, take care of yourself.
I want us to find healthy ways to express ourselves, okay? Some people make decisions that might not be the greatest. So find healthy ways to express yourself, please. Along those same lines, I want you all to be careful where and who you vent to. It's awesome to get some things off your chest, but some of you really need to think about who you're speaking with and making sure that it's a, a trustworthy source. Um, if it's a person, do not vent over the internet. Do not, I repeat, do not vent over the internet. No social media, I don't care if you think no co-workers are following you on Instagram or you don't accept any co-workers on Facebook, just don't do it. Stuff gets screenshot, it's a mess. It's a hot mess, don't do it. If you need somewhere to vent, you need to find a trusted individual that you can speak with to express your feelings, but also use that same thing I told the students. Journal that thing. Journal it, get it out, and find a better way to move forward. But don't go telling all your business or the business of the world to everybody because it's, it's not healthy and it won't be good for you in the end. I promise. To everyone else, including everybody that I've already spoke to, make sure you rest. Make sure you laugh. Make sure you dance. Try to learn a new skill and count all of your blessings. We don't all have what each other has, but I guarantee you that you have something that somebody else is wishing for. Let us not be envious of the things that we do and or don't have. Count what you have. If you have food, wonderful. If you have toilet paper, awesome. If you have a view, great. If you have a balcony, celebrate. Whatever you have, count your blessings because there's somebody else that's just wishing for that particular opportunity. Do not take anything for granted. And I can't end what might be a long video without thanking all of our essential workers. You all are magnificent. From the doctors, to the nurses, to the grocery store, shelf stockers, to the delivery individuals, to the sanitation workers, to the police officers, to anybody who was still out there on the front lines during this pandemic, thank you so much. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I pray that you continue to get the respect that is due once all of this is over. But let us never forget who continued to help us carry along and push forward when we couldn't do anything but stay home. Also, remember to stay at home. Just stay home so we can so we can get past all this. We'll get to hang out later, God willing. But just stay home, with me, please. All right. Thank you so much for watching, folks. Um, I hope the information that I shared was relevant, helpful, and um, just thank you for taking the time to spend with me. And uh, look out for some more interesting videos. I'm trying to be creative. I'm trying to be creative because uh, certain things that I feel like I can control is um, my video content and cooking right now. And so if y'all get flooded with it. Just give me some feedback so I can continue to get better. All right, y'all. Take care. I'll talk to you soon.